Chris with HobbyKing.com and we've got some great new Emacs multi-rotor motors today. So uh, these are the same size as we always carry uh, from Emacs, however these are new ones. These are the PM series. Now what does PM stand for? Plastic motor. Now I know the first thing that you're going to be thinking is what? A plastic motor? I thought the same thing about Glock handguns, you know, uh, with the plastic uh, cases and stuff. These are exactly the same thing. It's a fiber composite plastic material that is injected uh, with an inner steel uh, ring. So when I first started taking a look at the, uh, the build quality of this, and, and like I said, I had the same skepti skepticism, sorry I can't talk today, uh, it, they actually took a steel ring, uh, inserted it into a mold with the magnets, injected the plastic around, it has brass inserts all the way around on it, and it actually has a, a solid metal shaft that goes all the way up through the center as well. So it's basically just the outer housing on this thing. It actually is an extremely nice, solid, uh, very repetitive uh, process, meaning that every motor is almost identical to the other one. There's no difference and the tolerances are, are insane on it. Now it's got brass inserts on the bottom for your mounting, regular old uh, 16 uh, uh, millimeter mounting on that, and it's got standardized shaft on it. Cool thing about these motors is it's got quality magnets, it's got quality bearings, the winds look phenomenal. It's the same winding that is in their metal series of motors, but the balance on these things, everyone's like, oh, it's plastic, how can you get them uh, balanced? But with uh, modern technology and molding, uh, these motors actually come out uh, balanced. I've spun them up. They're actually better than the aluminum uh, series on the motors. So they're, they're precision. They're, they're literally identical one from the next to the next to the next. And the best part is it comes in a pair of two and they're cheap as chips. I mean, you just cannot get them any cheaper than this. So you definitely can put them in your quad. They're gonna perform the same uh, as the other Emacs as far as power is concerned, because it's the same wind, it's the same magnets, it's the same steel inner ring. The only thing is it's just a lot less money and you get them in a set of two. Now let's go ahead and talk about the sizes. This is our, uh, their 1806, which is very famous among uh, multi-rotor users. You got clockwise and counterclockwise in a set of two. Other cool thing is, uh, is because it does have the, uh, the brass inserts, it does come with uh, two different lengths of uh, mounting hardware for each motor. So the hardware is uh, already in on that. Now I was mentioning that um, it has a steel shaft uh, that goes right on through this. Let me go ahead and just pop one of these uh, off. And if you actually look right down the center of this, uh, we'll be able to grab that into a uh, closer shot. You can actually see the steel shaft that goes through there. So it's not gonna snap off or break in a hard crash. Like I was mentioning, uh, the balance on these things are, are pretty amazing and the overall quality, especially for the money, it's unbelievable. Now let's talk about the other motor that they have here. This is their little 1306. Now this thing is 2800 kV, so it was designed for a 2S operation, maybe a little four, possibly a five inch prop, depending on how heavy you're loading it up. Uh, but same deal, it's a little plastic motor, comes with the mounting hardware, clockwise, counterclockwise, set it to, just look at the price points on these, these things are extremely cheap. Now normally cheap means you're getting what you pay for. In this situation, I would absolutely uh, throw these on a uh, multi rotor, especially if I'm doing some racing and I know I'm going to be crashing and I don't want to risk a set of elites or something like that, uh, especially if I, like I said, if I know I'm going to be crashing, I'll definitely throw these on a, uh, on a quad and go out there and just hammer it and have fun and, uh, and do 3D. And if I lose a motor, um, I'm out just a couple bucks, uh, you know, just throw it away and buy a new one. Definitely check them out. They're up on the new items uh, page. Emacs, great name. PM series, plastic composite motor. Uh, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time.